What's up guys? So I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while. Um, just kind of update you guys on what I've been doing for the last month or so. So about a month ago, I did get fired from my job. Um, I was in sales for about three and a half years. So long story short, I was late to a meeting that I didn't know was supposed to happen. And uh, they pretty much just cut me. So it kind of put me in a rough spot of what I was going to do next. And pretty much they said that they just felt like I lost passion for the company. And for some of you guys have known, I've been pushing the social media thing for, for quite a while now. And I think this was just kind of the, um, the final push to get me, you know, to where I'm supposed to be. And so they let me go. They said, no hard feelings. We just feel like this is not the place for you. And honestly, I think that was the best decision ever because right after that, about maybe two or three days after that, I got my first sponsor, which was Yee Apparel, um, which is super cool. Go check them out. Link in the description. Uh, ran by Granger Smith, you guys know who that is. Which I've been pushing for quite a while. Um, the last six months I've been posting on Instagram, really trying to grow, and I finally got that sponsorship. So I just kind of felt like God was trying to show me something. And I actually tried to file for unemployment multiple times and got denied. So I had to come up with a solution of, okay, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go back to the typical nine to five life and you know just not enjoy it? Because I'll be honest, it was, it was a struggle for Brooke and I. You know, we have a daughter and she just turned a year and it was just kind of hard for us but i would be gone you know nine to ten hours a day and you know i have to work on saturdays and all this stuff and i just wasn't really happy i wasn't happy with where i was you know i wasn't happy with with the person that i was becoming while working there i wasn't happy with just how much excuses and just a bunch of bunch of stuff that i was i was putting on myself um while trying to maintain time with my family and while trying to push social media so i felt like there was something bigger out there for me instead of going back to a typical nine to five job. I didn't want to get binded up into this retirement plan and then, you know, I have to grind until I turn about 65 and then I can have fun. I want to start having fun now. I want to do things for my family. Um, I want to have more time with them, things like that. And I feel like a lot of times in the job that I was at, it was just very hard. There's long hours, um, it was super late at night. You know, I didn't get off until about seven eight o'clock some nights and it just wasn't really working for me. I feel like it was a good thing. Some people get like super stressed about losing their job, but it was kind of relief for me to be honest um, because now I have more time to do what I love. So since then, um, for the last month, I have been actually officially full time on TikTok. So I've been going live on TikTok every single day and it's actually been awesome. It's been super cool to meet everybody. Um, so shout out to the TikTok fam, everybody that's in there. I just remember literally the day I got fired, um, I was on TikTok and like just researching TikTok live. Like, okay, how can I make more time for this? You know, how can I do this? Um, Cause I was just passionate about it. Like it was super fun. I can, I can go on live, I can play guitar. I can, you know, do flips on the trampoline. I can sing, you know, there's just so many things I can do on TikTok live. Then your fans, you know, will gift you and, and you can make a living off of it. And it's just kind of cool. So I kind of figured I would research that more. I just remember being at my job literally for about two to three years, just researching, researching how do I get better at YouTube? How do I get better at Instagram, TikTok? Um, I'll be posting multiple times during the day. I would always be like trying to figure out what to do. It just kind of clicked after, after they fired me that that was my passion and why not just go for it? Why not just put everything into it? And if it just absolutely fails, then I can always go get a job you know, provide for my family. I'm gonna do what I can to provide for my family. So yeah, the last month I just been, I just been going hard. I've been, you know, staying up till three to four some nights, pushing TikTok live, just going crazy. And it's been awesome. I've met a lot of cool people on TikTok. A lot of people who are funny, entertaining, and just super motivating to be around. And I felt like that was definitely something I needed to get into. So I felt like God was kind of showing me, you know, the next step into my life. And I remember stressing a little bit when I first got fired, but then I remembered okay, I have faith in God, I have faith he's gonna provide, you know, and if I'm gonna be worrying about all this stuff and putting all these thoughts in my head, then that's just weakening my faith. Once that clicked, I really just started going for it. I'm like, okay, God, if social media is my route, because I've been passionate on YouTube for a while, I've been posting for about four years probably, on and off. And so this last month, I've just been grinding TikTok, trying to, trying to get that figured out. I mean, I'm officially a, a social media influencer if you will but um i think it's pretty cool my biggest advice for anybody watching this video is to make time for your passion especially if you can't do it at work or during your breaks right as you clock out go out and do it otherwise you're going to be stuck at a job that you hate 
always going to be unhappy, wishing that you have more time to do things. The biggest key that I can give you guys is to try to make time. Even if it's five to 10 minutes, whatever your passion is. Because there'll be times at my job when I would just be super exhausted after work that I didn't feel like doing anything, but I still made time for it. And it paid off. If I didn't do that, like I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I would have gotten fired and I would have had nowhere to go. I would have had to gotten another job. I'd be stressing out. I truly believe that if you have a passion and you're put on this earth for a reason, that you need to go after it. So that's what we're doing. And there's a lot of cool things that I'm going to have in the future for you guys. So definitely stay tuned. So I truly believe that each and every one of us are put on this earth for a reason. And if you have a passion, man, go for it. Go for it all the way, 100%. Do not let back. Try to make as much time as possible. Even if you're losing sleep, I promise that short per period of time when you're grinding, it's going to pay off later on. About six months ago, I switched up my content and instantly noticed some improvements. And I'm gonna switch up my content more, just kind of do more things that I love as well. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this journey will take me. I'm going to give my 100% faith into God and my friends and family around me. Shout out to everybody who supported me along this journey. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys, you guys watching this video. I hope that this inspires you guys in some way. And even if you have to work that miserable job for a little bit to make a living, there's nothing wrong with that. Just please make sure that you're looking for the next step and that you are gonna take any steps that are required to get there. There is hope for each and every one of you guys. You have to find your passion and go after it every single day until something happens. But I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.